The first Rashi commenting on the Chumash, Amar Rabbi Yitzchak. The Torah should not have begun with Bereshis Bara. It should have begun with the first commandment, the first mitzvah. That the Jewish people got, and that was in Egypt. Tachodesh Azel Achem Rosh Chadashim. Nisan is the first month, the Jewish calendar. So why did it begin with Bereshis Bara? Says Rashi. Koach Maasov Higid Lamol Loseis Lahem Nachalas Goyim. Hashem taught us that He created the world. To give us the land of other nations. And Rashi says that if one claims that we are listim, we're bandits, we've taken over the land that belonged to other countries, other nations. So what do we tell them? Hashem created the world, He gave it to whoever He wanted to, and then took it away from them and gave it to us. And the Ramban explains, when Rashi asks that it should have started from HaChodesh Hazel Lochem, the very first commandment, that was just before the exodus from Egypt. All of Sefer Bereshis, all the stories, all of them must be included in the question of why were they mentioned? And the answer that is for the sake of understanding our right to the land that applies to all of Sefer Bereshis. And Ramban explains, what is Sefer Bereshis all about? Hashem created man and from day one man degenerated. He created man, Adam sinned, Cain killed Hevel. Generation after generation, things were only getting worse and worse. To the point that there was a flood. Then the Tower of Babel. Avram Avinu. He began the reversal of that process. He was the one that brought Hashem and his values to humanity. And Hashem gave him the land. What is our right to Eretz Israel? What's our right? Because we conquered it? Conquest? Conquest would go under the category of listim, bandits. All of conquest that goes on all over the world, over all the generations. That was listim. That's might makes right. True, it's a fact. It establishes ownership. 
It's recognized by the Torah. Con conquest is recognized. But it's immoral. Listen. There's only one exception. Eretz Yisrael was given to Avram Avinu. Hashem tells Avram Avinu, your descendants will inherit this land. Because he earned it, because of what he stood for, because of what he brought to the world, because of what his descendants will bring to the world. The only legitimate conquest is that of the Jewish people in Eretz Yisrael. But what's the basis for it? An understanding that there's a creator, that there's a purpose to creation, That we, beginning with Avram Avinu, we're not just the first, but the only ones. The only ones that brought those values to humanity. So our right to the land begins with acknowledgement of creation and purpose and our understanding that that's what we're here for. To so many of our brethren here, creation is no longer a given. Values up for debate. They're turning, they're holding on to the land into what others see as being bandits. And you understand why. Because if our only right to being here is conquest, there were bandits. If we want to maintain our right to the land and our destiny We've got to get to our brethren. Every Israeli has to understand why we're here. If the claim is that it's the only haven from anti-Semitism, there's some problems with that. 
Today it is the number one stated reason for anti-Semitism. Whenever our right to being here is challenged, we've got to do some soul searching. Do we understand our right to our ancient homeland? It's for the purpose of bringing values to humanity. Not taking other civilizations' values and living them. Yeah. It's a real danger. And we've got to get to work. We've got to get our brothers to know that this world was created Created for a purpose. And we are the purpose. For us to teach mankind right from wrong. There's been much talk these days of how keeping Shabbos, keeping Shabbos, acceptance of keeping Shabbos, save people's lives. Settlements that kept Shabbos were not penetrated. I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. Shabbos is the mitzvah that proclaims the fact that Hashem created the world. If that's the mitzvah that does it, it's no surprise. Perhaps we ourselves should not just enjoy the singing and the food on Shabbos, but spend time thinking about what Shabbos is all about. We are attesting to the fact that the world was created. It didn't just happen. This Shabbos, Shabbos Barashis, where the very first Rashi ties creation in with our right to the land at a time we're at war.
This is the time to make the most of it ourselves and reach out to whoever we can. Not as a good luck charm. Keep Shabbos, you'll be all right. Although everyone knows, Ki Shabbat, kill Yishmareni. You keep Shabbos, Hashem will watch over you. Every Israeli knows that song. But that is a good luck charm. It's real meaning. That's our right to the land. If we ourselves don't believe it, how can we expect others to respect it? Give it a try. Pass this on to people you know to whom Shabbos doesn't mean anything yet. This is an opportune time. Shabbos voracious when our right to the land is being challenged. Be clear yourselves and reach out to whoever you can. It doesn't take much to reach lots of people today. Hashem watch over all of us. And hopefully the shock waves that have hit every Jew will open people's hearts. And maybe they'll start thinking What is it about being Jewish that so much of humanity try to eradicate? What is it that we stand for that makes us so different? May Klal Yisrael come back and recognize that this world was created and that humanity degenerated. <coughs> and we were the ones that rebuilt the image of the human being And that's our right to being here. Let's assume that role and be here till the coming of Mashiach from here of the Amin.